One of the first skills you will need if you want to build a career in cybersecurity is networking fundamentals. What do I mean by that? And what exactly do you need to know? At the heart of cybersecurity lies a profound understanding of networks. Let's start with the essentials, the TCP IP protocol suite. It is the backbone of the internet, defining how data is transmitted across networks. Within this suite, you have protocols like HTTP, which handles web traffic. DNS, which resolves domain names to IP addresses. FTP, manages file transfers. And SMTP, which oversees email delivery. And one of these protocols is keen to speaking the language of the internet. To manage IP spaces effectively, you'll need to delve into subnetting and IP addresses. You'll need to understand IPv4, the most commonly used version, as well as the newer IPv6. Also, subnetting allows you to carve out smaller, more manageable network segments. It's like dividing a large cake into smaller, more easier to distribute slices. Networking topologies play a significant role in how networks are structured. You'll encounter topologies like the star, where all devices are connected to a central hub. The bus, where all devices share a common communication line. The ring, where all devices are connected in a circular fashion. And of course, the mesh, which offers redundancy through multiple interconnects. Each one of these has its own advantages and disadvantages. Beyond that, you have router and switch configurations, which is essential to managing network traffic. Routers connect different networks, such as your local network to the internet, while switches manage traffic within a network, intelligently forwarding data to the correct destination. You'll encounter things such as VLANs, access control lists, and routing protocols such as OSPF and BGP. There's vulnerabilities in each one of these things I've already talked about, and you'll need to know how to fix them or exploit them depending on your career path. Now. The number two skill I would say is operating system familiarity. The operating system is your window into the digital world. First, there's Windows, of course, including the server versions and the ubiquitous Windows 10 and 11. Here you'll become well acquainted with user account management, group policies, and security features such as BitLocker, which encrypts data to protect it from unauthorized access. Beyond Windows, you have Linux, which opens a world of possibilities. You'll learn to navigate the command line interface, learn to wield the power of the terminal, and dive into permissions, package management, and shell scripting. Linux is the king when it comes to cybersecurity professionals for its power and flexibility. Now, there's also Mac OS, as an operating system that runs on Apple's Macintosh computers, it brings a unique ecosystem. You'll need to get to know the Mac OS environment, including user management, security settings, and system preferences. Understanding Mac OS is honestly becoming really essential as an increasing number of corporations are using it more and more in their environments. Each one of these OSs has its own way of handling vulnerabilities, and what works for one, of course, normally doesn't work for the other. Now, the next skill you will need to familiarize yourself with is basic cybersecurity concepts. As we venture further into the cybersecurity landscape, we encounter fundamental principles. Confidentiality, integrity, and availability form the bedrock, which is often also referred to as the CIA triad. They guide our decisions, ensuring data remains confidential, unaltered, and accessible when needed. Also, you got risk management, the art of identifying, assessing, and mitigating risks. Learn to dive into methodologies for practicing risk management in organizations. It involves an understanding of assets, threats, vulnerabilities, and calculating risk scores to prioritize security measures. Threat modeling is your crystal ball for cybersecurity. Within threat modeling, you'll assess potential threats and vulnerabilities in systems and applications. By creating threat models, you'll identify areas requiring enhanced security, helping organizations advocate for resources effectively. And then there's the concept of defense in depth. Imagine a fortress with multiple layers of security. You got walls, moats, guards, drawbridges, that goes on and on. This concept involves layering security controls. So even if one layer gets breached, the others remain intact. This is a proactive approach to cybersecurity. Now, the first three skills I feel are an essential foundational skills to build on for anyone looking to break into cybersecurity. Now, you might be wondering, how do you get started studying for all these skills that I mentioned in the video already? Well, 
then you need to check out this video sponsor, Coursera. On Coursera, you'll find thousands of courses offering a wide range of skills from data analytics, IT support, networking engineering, and of course, cybersecurity. The professional certificates are self-paced, 100% online courses designed to help learners acquire specific skills and knowledge. Coursera actually partners with more than 300 leading universities and companies to bring flexible, affordable, job-relevant online training to individuals and organizations worldwide. Professional certificates offer flexible online training from industry leaders such as Google, IBM, and more, designed to get you job ready for a high growth field in as little as six months. Whether you're working full-time, have family commitments, or in the middle of a career change, you can fit learning on Coursera into your schedule. To learn more, make sure and check out the link down in the description. Now, skill number four is what most people try to start with when entering the cybersecurity field and ultimately end up failing. I'm talking about cybersecurity tools and software. And while this is a very important skill to have, if you don't have a strong understanding of the first three skills I talked about, you are setting yourself up for failure. Now, cybersecurity tools, I think, can be the most exciting part because you're actually starting to get to do these hacky, cool little things. But really, you have to have these foundational skills first. As a cybersecurity practitioner, you'll work alongside a suite of cybersecurity tools and software. It's like having your own toolkit helping you safeguard networks and systems. Let's begin with some of the obvious ones like antivirus and malware. Understanding how they operate, detect, and remove malicious software, you'll learn to explore signature-based detection and behavior-based detection. Alongside antivirus and malware, you have firewalls. Firewalls are your digital guardians. You'll learn about the different types from packet filtering firewalls that scrutinize network packets to stateful inspection firewalls that keep track of the state of active connections. You'll explore things such as application layer filtering to control specific applications or services. In the ever watchful eyes of your network, intrusion detection and prevention systems, IDS and IPS, stand guard. These systems monitor your network traffic for suspicious activities and potential security threats. IDS raises alerts, while IPS can actually take active measures to block these threats. Don't forget, of course, vulnerability scanning. Tools like Nexus and OpenVAS scan networks and systems to find security weaknesses. These scans are really essential for understanding and addressing potential vulnerabilities proactively. Now, the next skill you'll likely need to start learning as you start learning more about tools and software is scripting and programming. As you advance into the cybersecurity field, you'll start to realize the power of scripting and programming. It's like having your own digital assistant to automate repetitive tasks, parse data, and interact with systems and services. And in all honesty, Python here is your go-to language. It is versatile, beginner-friendly, and is widely used in cybersecurity. You'll learn to script solutions to automate your tasks, parse logs, files and interact with different APIs. And of course, don't forget about Bash. It is the language of the command line interface in Unix-like based operating systems. With Bash, you can automate system administrative tasks, manage files, and perform basic system diagnostics. And of course, there's regular expressions. It's a really powerful skill to have. It's like having a secret code for finding and manipulating text data. In cybersecurity, you'll often use regex to search and extract specific information from log files or raw data. These fundamental skills will form the bedrock of your journey into cybersecurity. They are the stepping stones upon which you will build expertise, enabling you to tackle ever-evolving changes and opportunities that await in this dynamic field. Continuous learning, practical experience, and pursuing relevant certifications will further enrich your cybersecurity journey. So embrace these skills as they are your gateway to the world where the digital realm meets cybersecurity. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And again, if you wanna find out how Coursera can help you guys achieve your dreams in the cybersecurity field, make sure and check out the link in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time, keep learning.